Well, the main impression of today's session was that um, I was, of course, invited to give a European perspective on India's position in the world and in its place in the world. Um, and one of the key takeaways for me is that there is an enormous amount of work to do. There's also an enormous amount of potential because both Europe, i.e. particularly the EU as an organization, and India face actually fairly similar challenges and are in a very similar uh, geostrategic position, um, which would make it possible for these two powers, or potential powers, new powers, to be in the world to join forces. Uh, we are now in a world with an increasing geostrategic conflict between China and the US, of course, um, but the EU is potentially, of course, another big player, a great power potentially, and so is India. Um, so as such, geostrategically speaking, they share commonalities that I think they ought to explore. However, I would say that in both places, the awareness of the other is still fairly limited. I've had some experience with um, discussions in Europe about India, and many people surprisingly find India still um, a bit of a, uh, a terra nova, a, a new place when it comes to geostrategy strategy rather than development issues as in the past. And I would also say that in India, uh, Europe or the EU is something that has only recently been discussed uh, seriously as a geostrategic partner. Uh, Europe also has an increased interest in the Indo-Pacific. It sees that its own longer term interests are also served by being more present in the Indo-Pacific and of course India shares a very similar assessment. The one difference of course is when it comes to the China relationship that Europe doesn't share a border with China whereas India does that creates very specific problems for India um, that Europe doesn't directly have to deal with.